Well, Andrew, uh, this series is being booked and billed in many parts as the Battle of the Bullpens. So what is it about the Orioles' bullpen that you've seen since you've been here that makes it so consistent and so effective? Yeah, I think we got a good group of you know diverse guys and different styles, and uh, we complement each other well. But you know, ultimately, it's uh, complete teams that make it this far, and uh, you know I feel like we're certainly an important factor, but you know just a small piece of the puzzle. Now, one of the things we learned uh, in Game One, you're certainly a back end of the bullpen guy in this team, an eighth inning setup man, maybe ninth inning, and then in game one of the ALDS, here you come on in the sixth inning to relieve the starter. Did that surprise you? Not at all. I think, uh, you know, at this time of year, you know, anything is uh, possible and we're ready for everything and every possibility. And, uh, you know, that's when Buck calls for me. I'm ready and I'm ready to go. But, uh, you know, ultimately, I think, uh, you know, that's not that out of the normal for me anyways. I have pitched in that inning quite a few times this year, so, you know, I'm prepared for whatever. You know, one of the thing about roles on this team is that uh, when you have roles, uh, managers always say, especially Buck, he'll say, well, uh, their role is, when I put them in the game, to get outs. Now, when you hear a manager say something like that, does that simplify it? Yeah, absolutely. He gives a little bit of a heads up that that was going to be the situation, especially, you know, once we reach the playoffs. But, uh, you know, ultimately, that's our job. That's our goal is to get the hitter out at the plate whenever we're called upon. And uh, you know, I think we all strive to do that, and uh, we're all pretty good at it. You know, one of the things about the postseason is obviously there are scatter reports, and I'm sure you've been over as many on Kansas City as you can. But when you get in the game, how do you balance scatter report what they do versus what you do best? I think uh, I always pitch my strengths. I think uh, if I try to get out of that, I'm not going to be a very good pitcher, and I'm going to try to do things that are you know out of out of the realm of possibility for me. So I'm always going to pitch to my strengths. I'm going to trust what the catchers are uh, have in mind, and I'm going to do a little bit of research beforehand. But ultimately, I'm going to go with what uh, I think I do best. All right, you're in your third year as a full-time reliever. You're four wins away from a World Series on a, on a very good playoff postseason bullpen. As you reflect on this, is this as enriching and as enjoyable as what might have been had you remained a starter? Yeah, I think uh, ultimately the goal is to win games, and that's all I ask for is to be a, a positive contributing member on a good team, and I, I feel like I'm starting to accomplish that. But ultimately I think uh, you know, we'd like to win eight games the rest of the way, and uh, you know, we've got the Royals on our way right now. They're a good team, and you know, they're obviously hot right now just as we are. So you know, we've got our hands full, but I think we're capable. And as much as everybody's talking about the Kansas City bullpen, you got to like your chances with your group. Oh, absolutely. Top to bottom, I feel like, you know, one through seven or eight or however many it is at this point in the year, you know, we like our chances. And, you know, our job is to, to focus on the hitters on the other side, not the, uh, not the other pitchers. But I like our chances against anybody, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out when the games are played.